While my mom went to Assumption Parish, we got a call from a woman about a dog that was running on Mishu Road. Unfortunately, we know this place all too well. It's a really desolate area. A lot of people go there to dump their trash and unfortunately, dump their dogs. Slow down, oh my God! A couple years ago, we rescued a dog named Sasha from there. And in fact, we also rescued Artemis from there. Oh. Hi, Mama. Hello. I'm on the other side of town, so I called Matt and told him that I would meet him there as soon as I could. All right. OK, bye. So the caller said that the dog was really skinny. So it made me very concerned that the dog didn't have food or clean water. Well, I don't even want to be outside, so I know how the dog feels. I was just really concerned, you know, about the heat. Dogs really don't sweat, so they get heat stroke really easy. So it's very important that we get this dog as soon as possible. You know, unfortunately, the spot in New Orleans East that's real deserted, so people dump their trash and dogs out there. It's like right off of the interstate. It's off in the cut by itself, so it's an easy spot to just dump things and not be seen. Somewhere, I just heard it come from this way. It's over there, somewhere. Tanya is not here. But you know, all I really care about right now is getting this dog off the streets and out of the heat. I didn't even see her right there. Oh my God. You know, she scared the crap out of me. I damn near shit a brick. Mama, you scared the out of me. Whew. Mama. Oh my God. Come see Mama. When she lunged out at me, I thought for sure that it was because she had puppies back there. Until I realized there was no puppies. There was none. You could tell that it's been a while since she gave birth. Come on, mama. I can't see her no more. After that happened, it kind of built like a bad first impression, you know, with me and her, because I started her. So now, you know, she's like, doesn't trust me. So I'm going to have to wait until Tanya gets here. Lord have mercy. Hopefully, Tanya will have better luck than I had. All right, so. When I got close enough, she came, like I spooked the shit out of her, and she scared me. I just hear that this dog tried to attack Matt, and Matt's a big guy, and he's very, very dog savvy. He was petrified, which did not make me feel 100% confident in trying to help. And which, I mean, she sounded mean, but like once I like got back far enough, she was like, all right, I'm done. Like, she just wanted to get me back. I am pretty much the only option right now. I don't really think that she's going to trust Matt after what just happened. Now that I know she came after you, it's kind of scary. I've been working with dogs my entire life, but I've never caught one completely on my own. So I'm really nervous. My mom normally handles these types of rescues, but with everything we have going on right now, we kind of all have to just step up and handle new challenges. Hi. You're OK. I want her to see me from afar. I want her to know that I'm there and just get used to the fact that I'm just even standing there. You know, I don't want to just walk up on her and freak her out. Let me help you. I know. You know, when you baby talk, it doesn't come off as threatening so they learn to trust you a little faster. It's OK, baby. Come back. Come on, mama. She kept running into the bushes. It wouldn't be you know, safe to go in there after her. It's a waiting game at this point. I don't really have any other options. Hi, sweetheart. I know. You're OK. I know. It's scary. I know, Mama, you're OK. She doesn't seem aggressive. I think that she is scared. I feel like she does want to be caught, but she just doesn't know if she can trust me at this point yet. I promise it's OK, baby. It's OK. Do you want a treat? I know, I know, I know. It was insanely hot. I kept trying to kneel down 
and my knees would burn on the asphalt. I have no idea how she was walking on it, let alone laying on it. Nothing? Every time she would go into the bushes, I was thinking, you know, that that's it. Yeah, I wasn't gonna be able to catch her. And then I just remember thinking, you know, how am I gonna feel later tonight, knowing that she's still out there in this pile of trash. You wanna come back out? There's no options. We have to get this dog. Like, we, we have to do whatever we can to get her. Oh, there she is coming out to the left. Okay, baby, I know. You're okay. So scary, I know. You know, watching Tanya in action, I gotta say I was real impressed. You know, all she had was a, a, a leash. She's gotta be scared, but I tell you what, the way she's handling herself, you'd never know it. You're fine. I know, I know. Okay, you're okay. You're okay, I promise. I know, it's hot. I've been bit by dogs, so I'm right there with her, you know, foot away. I started thinking about it. There's nothing stopping her from getting to me. It's so hot. I know, I know, I know. Do you want to smell this? So it's just, uh, all right, I'm trusting you. You know, do you trust me? Can we just make this work together? Oh, I know, this is so scary for you. I know, baby, I know, I know, but I promise you're gonna be okay. Good girl, good girl, mama. All right, let's go in the air condition. Let's get out of here, this is nasty. Once I was able to put the leash on her, she just popped right up and it was like, she was just a regular dog. Come on. I think she realized that I was there to help. I trusted her, she trusted me, and it just worked out. Thank you for being so good. Thank you. Good girl. I feel like she was a family pet at one time. She looks good. She looks healthy. She was clean. She's good on a leash. I don't know what happened or how it happened, but I'm just glad that we're able to have her now. Oh my God. And I just wanted to get her out of there. It was so disgusting where she was. I was picking ticks off of my body from being out there. You did everything, high five, good job, sweetie. Thanks. Watching Tanya pull that off, I gotta say that took guts. But she just stayed patient, kept her cool, and got the job done. I don't remember ever catching a dog on my own, so it was kind of intimidating and really scary. At least I know that I'm capable, you know, of doing things on my own, like all the things that I've learned in my life of working with dogs. I say let's go around the back, right here. My main concern was just to get her into, you know, the air conditioning with some water in a quiet, comfortable space. We're gonna get you some water. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, your tail is just wagging. You had a wacky tail. I mean, we're just gonna, you know, let her relax and give her some time to, to hang out, and then we'll take it from there. Thank you for being nice to me. Not doing how you did this guy. <laughs>